everyone and welcome back to the channel for another build video so today will be another indoor build i had a request on one of my youtube videos to do the indoor kind of decoration of eric's ship i've been meaning to do this for a very long time because i absolutely love this premium shop house it's actually one of my favorites they've ever given us and i've always wanted to do the interior to make it seem as though it is actually eric's ship that he uses for his voyages and has all the things that he needs in there so i wanted to do the interior of this i have it set up in my dazzle beach but it's been blank inside for a long time so i felt like this would be a really fun one to do so let's get started so when I first went in, I obviously started off with the main room. Now I wanted to make this just a very simple kind of like opening room, kind of living seating area. I wanted there to include a couple of things he could use, like a desk and things like that. But I wanted it to have a really warm feel. I wanted it to feel kind of cozy and home away from home. I kind of wanted to make this more of like Eric themed. So I wanted it to feel very much like he kind of had his necessities that he would have had at home and make it a cozy environment rather than making it like an actual pirate ship. I wanted it to feel more homely than that. So I did go with a very cozy feel to it. And I kind of had a play around with creating this first living area. I did use the Monsters Inc doors to kind of mimic the old wood style of the ship i feel like these doors work really really well compared to the other doors we have and i use the porthole windows as windows throughout the whole build obviously i know they're kind of more like a submarine style window but i felt like in a pirate ship they kind of just looked very very cool they kind of brought the ocean vibe and just worked really well in here so i started with those and then i started going around and placing all the other things that i knew i'd probably be using <laughs> Now in this build I did mainly use Scrooge items, there was a couple of craftables and a few premium shop and star path items but I will kind of name those out as I go. So in this first room there's obviously the map table and the kind of chalice that came in the premium shop in a kind of pirate themed bundle. This was so worth it in my opinion, you get the map table, the chalice and I think the big kind of like stone sculpture. They are a really nice bundle to have. They are kind of our only element of Pirates of the Caribbean we really have so far. So I would recommend those if they do come back. And something I do use throughout the whole build that is premium, and if you've seen my other builds, you would recognize this. It is the brown wood pillars that are in each corner of the room. These are a tangled item and they are from the premium shop. And I have to just say, if you are a fan of how these look and you're a fan of kind of just a old school cottage core look, I highly, highly, highly recommend these pillars. I use them so often. I have them in my own house. I have them in a lot of the builds I do because I like to go with that really nice rustic wood theme in a lot of builds. So if you see these and you like them and they do come back in the premium shop anytime soon, I would highly recommend them. They are one of my favorite items in the game. I genuinely use them all the time. So that there is a kind of a couple of things dotted about that I'll let you know about. But for the most part, I wanted to use Scrooge items and that continues continued in the kitchen room where I do have again the frozen set from the premium shop this is another item set I always recommend because I use it all the time it's kind of our only rustic kitchen set we have it very much reminds me of a very cottage core vibe so these again are ones I highly recommend if they do come back in the premium shop I use them pretty much in every kitchen build I do unless it's a specific theme but I do have these in my own home but I did place those around and in the second room created a kitchen and dining area for Eric to hang out in and kind of live his life as he is out on the sea he needs to be able to cook his own food and eat and all those things so I wanted to create a really cute kitchen area for him <clears throat> This kitchen room is the room on the left hand side of the main room when you come in and I did continue the same sort of theme with the floors, the walls and the pillars as well as the porthole windows. I wanted this build to feel like it is one building and every room matched really well just because it is in a ship so it kind of just makes sense to have the same kind of rustic wood flooring that I used, the same kind of walls and to just 
really have the same atmosphere with the windows and everything some builds i like to kind of chop and change the rooms and make them feel really different and really eclectic but in here i wanted it to feel very similar and have a matching vibe so i went for very similar things throughout Now the next room we move on to is the far back room of the main room which is going to be our treasure trove room now if you saw my build in the desert palace in eternity oh a few days ago or a week ago i did create a very similar room in there where i kind of had all their gold and jewels all stored up in that room now this one is going to have a very similar vibe but it obviously is going to be a lot more pirate themed it's going to have a lot more kind of old school furniture that makes sense for them to have kind of found on their travels and i knew i wanted to put this in here because i just felt like it makes sense for a pirate ship where eric's gone on his adventures he's collected all these different things and he's put them all in this room ready to transport back home and kind of show off and do what he wants to do with them but i wanted it in here to still have that very rustic feel but include a lot of different items that he's collected Now throughout this whole build I did use a variety of different star path and premium shop items so what I'm going to start doing in my videos if you guys would find this helpful let me know down below if it's something that sounds good to you but I may start listing each room what things are premium and star path in the rooms just so then those of you who look at the build and think I don't have that or I don't recognize that you can then look in the description and see oh actually it's from a star path or it's from the premium shop and it gives you guys a good idea of what you can alternate and options to kind of change up from these items you don't yet have as well as look out for them when they do come back into the premium shop final room which is the right hand side room this is going to be eric's bedroom now in here again i kept the same theme with the floor and the walls but in here i wanted it to feel really kind of basic but at the same time very cozy i wanted it to have all the necessities he would need in a bedroom in here and it's kind of his space away from the crew or whoever else is on the ship with him it kind of gives him his own space to kind of chill out and read and reflect and do everything he wants to do in here To start off with I placed out all the items I knew I was going to be using and I knew I obviously wanted to keep the same theme with the pillars and the windows. I wanted to include a little desk space in here for him because I feel like it just makes sense for his character and I also wanted to include kind of like a small bath dressing area so you'll see in a minute I will go in and kind of create this little area in the corner and I did use some very simple items in here to kind of make it seem very rustic and very basic. Thank you. 
Eric Sherm, I also wanted to include a piano because obviously as we know Eric likes to walk around playing his flute all the time so I felt like another instrument in here would make him quite happy and I kind of finished it up by adding in a nice green rug before the build was complete. So this is the finished build, this is the main room and as you can see I've made it sunset outside just so all the lights light up and it gives it a really nice warm glow in here. So we've got the map table, we've got a grandfather clock, we've got a little desk, desk space with a scroll and some paintings above and just a really cosy living room space with the bookshelves and the fireplace. I just feel like this is such a nice opening area for him. It's very open, very spacious but kind of has all the elements of what he would need in this room before we head into the left room which is obviously our kitchen and dining space. Again in here I knew it would probably only be just him or just him and a couple of other people that would be using this space so I wanted it to again kind of have the seating area for other people to be here but mainly just cater to him when he is out on the seas as you can see I've kind of kept the warm lighting here I did use these metal grates in every single room these did come in a pirates bundle from the premium shop and I love these I think these make the room have so much more dimension and make it really obvious that it is a ship but in here I just wanted to have a really nice warm vibe for the kitchen as we head into the back room, this is obviously our treasure trove room and as you can see in here, it is very cluttered, very eclectic but still has that very rustic vibe. Now in comparison to the other treasure room I did recently in the Desert Palace, this one has a lot more kind of natural items. I used a lot of books, a lot of potion things, a lot of shells, a lot of sea, sea kind of coral. I wanted it to feel a lot more natural in here. Obviously it still does have the elements of gold in it and some gold items as well as this really big pirate treasure we got from the Star Path last year. But I did want it to feel a lot more normal in here and a lot more of a rustic feel compared to the alternative treasure room I'd already done. Now in the final room we obviously have Eric's bedroom. Now as I was saying in here I wanted it to kind of cater to all the things he'd want and be a nice chill out area. So it's got a very simple tavern bed with the really beautiful stained glass window behind. We've got a guitar and a piano to kind of interest his music. We've got a really cute picture of him and Ariel above his desk so he can remember her while he's away and obviously the bath and dresser area where he can kind of get ready for his day. I just feel like it caters to all the things he would need in his own little living space. So this is the overall build and just some shots of each room. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel like it keeps the element of feeling like it is kind of a small quaint area despite the rooms being obviously the biggest size in here. Be nice if we could kind of shrink them down in the premium shop houses like we do in our normal house because I would love to make these rooms just a lot more small and kind of feel a little bit more cramped because it would make sense being on a ship the rooms would be a lot smaller than this however I feel like with the space I've done the best I can to kind of make them feel very cozy very warm and fit all of the needs he would need in this space as well as have a little bit of a royal vibe because he is royalty but stick with the rustic feel so that is the overall build I hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below what you guys think and if you like how I did the ship and if you have done Eric's ship already yourself let me know down below how you did it and anything you did differently thank you so much for all the support on the channel it is crazy and I'm so happy that I'm now live streaming for you guys so keep an eye on the channel for when I go live I've had a few people in there already and a few members already so thank you so so much to those people you're all amazing and it's the support is honestly does not go unrecognized it's crazy to me I still can't comprehend it but I hope you all have the best week as we get ready for update 10 which is hopefully coming very very soon make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye